Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new vlog on my channel. This morning I'm up bright and early because I'm actually off to London to meet up with my best friend Jess. I'm going to give you a quick outfit of the day because I'm about to leave. So I'm wearing this cable knit jumper from H&M, my new look jeans as per usual and I just threw on some white trainers with this and I'm probably going to take my cream puffer coat because it has a hood and it is so windy here recently. As I said I'm about to leave and Charlie is going to give me a lift to the coach station because unfortunately today I am getting the coach. I usually get the train, however the coach was significantly cheaper and I'm trying to watch those pennies in the new year, you know? So coach it is. It's a three hour journey there so I'm hoping to get a lot of my book read because I really wanted to do more reading this year and I just saw this as a perfect opportunity because I'm also getting the coach back. So that's potentially about six hours of reading today that I could get done. So fingers crossed we'll get through quite a bit of my book. I'll bring you along with me on the journey. Hopefully we get there on time. We won't if I carry on talking to you so I'm going to end this clip here and catch up with you in a little bit. later and I've just arrived in a sunny London. My coach actually got in a little bit early so I'm heading over to Victoria train station to go and meet Jess and then I think from there we're going to head and have some lunch, potentially a Shake Shack because we are obsessed but I will bring you along with me. Very excited, very happy that it's so sunny and just can't wait for a nice fun day out. So we finally stopped in Shake Shack after getting a little bit distracted by something going on to do with the Queen. I honestly have no idea what it was, but we believe it was some sort of anniversary over the weekend. So we saw the Queen's Guard and we also saw loads of horses and police and it was all a bit of a drama down there to be honest. And we were just being a little bit nosy, but it's always quite fun and interesting to see. We're now in Shake Shack and I'm so excited. I didn't order too much because I'm still quite full up from a McDonald's breakfast, which I didn't expect to have. But let me show you how gorgeous this food looks. So we have these chicken bites and they are honestly unreal. I think they're like 100% chicken breast and they are absolutely gorgeous. The chocolate milkshake, which is definitely the start of the show. This is what we fell in love with Shake Shack for. And then these crinkle cut fries. I'm honestly so tempted every time to get the cheese ones, but I'm put off by the fact that it's cheese sauce. So if anyone has had the cheesy ones and they're nice, let me know down below in the comments so I can get them next time. guys long time no speak and apologies because I really don't feel like I filmed that much today at all and I really thought I would but to be honest we just didn't get up to that much I think one of the last things I filmed was us in Waterstones and I didn't actually say but the Waterstones in Piccadilly is apparently the biggest Waterstones in the UK both me and Jess absolutely love reading so it was a no-brainer that we wanted to visit there but after we did that there wasn't really that much that we got up to you obviously saw us in st james's park we walked there as it was kind of a middle point as when she was leaving she's going through waterloo station and i'm going through victoria and it's kind of a 20 minute walk for us both from st james's park so we just decided to get a drink sit there and have a little bit of a chat and when you're just having a chat there's nothing to film so that's why I don't think I feel much today to be honest but it's just gone five o'clock and I've left Jess I've walked through the park down past Buckingham Palace and I'm heading back towards the coach station I've only got about a 10 minute walk left it's getting absolutely freezing so we have timed it about right in terms of leaving my coach is at about six o'clock so 
I should have time to get to the station, potentially get a hot drink to warm me back up again and then sit down and get ready for the coach to arrive because I think the coaches arrive about 15 minutes before they leave. So it is good to be there early, but I have had a lovely day. I am sorry I didn't film too much, but as I said, I just don't think there was much to film. Hopefully I can make some sort of vlog out of this. If not, it's the shortest one in the world, but never mind, the day's not over yet. I'm sure I'll have some sort of travel disaster to inform you all about. Hopefully not, hopefully it all runs smoothly, but I am waffling now, so I'll let you go and I'll catch up with you all in a little bit, probably once I'm on the coach. I've just walked past a souvenir shop and look how cute these are outside for one pound. They're absolutely huge, it'll be so cute to frame. They've got some more around here as well. I am tempted to get one, but I don't really know what I'd do with it, where I'd put it. I don't think it'll go in our house anywhere. Also got some very cute postcards. It's called London Souvenirs, just down through Victoria. But anyway, onwards we move. I am finally back home after a very long and very stressful journey. I'm not gonna lie, that coach was a particularly bad journey. I managed to position myself in the rows, kind of in front of and behind of the most loudest people I've ever encountered on a coach, which was so frustrating because then it meant that I couldn't read my book, which as I mentioned at the start of the video, is something that I really wanted to focus on today. But never mind, there is always a next time. The main thing is, even though it was loud, I got back on time and I got back in one piece. Charlie picked me up from the station, which was very kind of her and brought me back home. And in all honesty, I'm just going to head off to bed in a minute, so there's not much else for me to update you on. As I said earlier, apologies for not filming much today. I really thought I'd film so much more, but I think it had been a long time since me and Jess had actually had a proper catch up. So we did just spend the majority of the day talking and catching up, but maybe next time we'll get up to something a little bit more fun and I'll bring you along with us because I think our next trip is booked for the 28th of February. So that will be around before we know it because I'm sure it would take me ages to edit this vlog the way I'm going at the minute. But anyway, I'm going to leave you be now. Thank you for watching this very, very short mini day out in London. Then. I do hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and other than that I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one goodbye